Hello, welcome. I'm Robbie from RDM Architects, and this is See the Code. This is a new kind of series I wanted to make. Try to explain different things that I maybe know of or actually want to learn about, and then I can share what I find out with you guys over there behind that screen. And today, this is a really big topic that has been happening everywhere in Rec Room. If you see, I have, I have arms, skinny arms, but I have arms, and I got, I got legs, and I got shoes, and there's a lot of, you know, talk about full body avatars. Some people have it, some people don't. How they work, there's people stretching their arms and doing crazy silly things that kids do around the rec centers, you'll see. But today, I wanted to teach you guys a little bit about why or how I think some of this stuff is actually working behind the scenes when we see the code. Let's go. So for this example, I built these little spheres over here with CB2. If you want to learn how to do it, drop a comment down below and I'll teach you how to do this. I built this just the other day with trunks in the Maker Plane Q&A. And I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of show you what I'm going to be talking about. So when we have full body avatars like this, right, we have bones. And the bone is not like a bone that we have inside our body. It's kind of like a vector. It's kind of like a line. It's kind of like a little, you know, prism looking thingy inside. So we'll have one from our, elf, you know, from our shoulder to our elbow. And we'll have a bone from the elbow to the wrist, then from the wrist to the end of the palm. And then we have like, if, if it's a complex avatar like this, right? We cannot really like do um, a lot of things with these ones, but uh, a lot of VR chat avatars or, or even game models from other games will have like a bone for every little part of the fingers, you know, and all those kind of things. And that's kind of how we can open and close and everything like that. So, but for this example, we'll only use this. So let's imagine this one up here, the one I'm just moving around. This is our shoulder, right? And this one down here is gonna be our elbow. This one over here is gonna be our end of the, the wrist, right? And this is gonna be our hand basically. So that's why I'm making this one like a little bit shorter over here, right? So if you can tell, which is kind of weird with this one, and I don't know if it's something to do with like height measurement or whatnot, but when I put my hands all the way down, like in, in real life, my elbows are still, you know, bent. And that's because they, they made a choice. I, I, or I think that's what happened over here. They made a choice between other games. So let's say, let's think about other games in VR something that happens right and why people are being able to like put their controllers down and stretch their arms like really really far and just like stretch the whole model there's uh, a deeper conversation that we can have about you know which one is better which one you know people prefer or whatnot so in other games like i was saying what happens is if you leave your controllers down somewhere else and then you step back the game itself will kind of recognize that you're too far away from the controllers it's you know, humanly impossible to be that far. And so it will just, you know, maybe default to have your arms next to your body and then kind of show you, only you as a per player in first person, your controller so that you know where you left your controllers, you go over there, you pick them back up, right? But to other people, it doesn't show the stretchy arms, it shows maybe your arms on the side. Um, in VR chat or in other games, you can have bones that are elastic or bones that are really rigid so maybe they have like a certain length so what will happen is that if you this is your arm and you stretch it farther than what the bones actually allow you to you won't see the arm stretch it will just reach to a certain point and then your controller will be actually farther than that right and that's weird because people want to know where their actual you know real life hand is in terms of when you see the things inside vr so that's what happened with the hands and why people were complaining a lot about like oh my god now i'm shooting and it's shooting higher and they messed it up and all the stuff right, i'm gonna tell you quickly how or again how i think that happened well if you see the way at least i use a quest right a quest 2 
So the controller is kind of shaped like a gun, like a grip of a gun. It's like diagonal, right? When you point it, it's like a bit diagonal. So let's say if I go back here, wait, and I grab this gun. Ooh, front gun. So if I grab it, right, it's pointing straight. Like it's pointing straight, right? But my hand is not actually straight, right? The, the, the controller is. So that's what was you happening with with the beam bodies before was that the way we were pointing aiming at things was the way the controller was pointing and aiming at things but the hand like if you were to look at it straight like this right the hand was actually diagonal like this if you were to overlap them right so your fingers wouldn't be where your fingers are because the controller is the one that is tilted so when this full body thing came about before it came out they kind of fixed that to where like now you would see your hand where your hand would actually be in relative position to the controller instead of the controller dictating where your fingers are now you know we use it to actually show where your fingers are which again makes your brain think like okay i know where my hand is you know so you can kind of grab and this and that and everything better so now now that we know like the decision is just so that you can be more comfortable about like looking at yourself inside this virtual world this simulation right that we exist in over here so going back to the bones if you have the rigid bones if you have the elastic bones if you choose to like extend only so far and they show the player the controllers those are different things that happen in different games because of different reasons right so in rec room they decided to go with the super elastic body right so that the arms would like extend and you still see where your controller is because you see the hand you don't see the controller but you see the hand right but the problem at least this is what i think is super interesting and why i wanted to make this see the code video for you all is um this 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 specifically here the elbow right this is an interesting bone in the arm let's let's say it that way so when you have the hand right like if my hand was like this mimicking the bone right but let's say this was smaller what the game is gonna do is something we call full body estimation right if you let's say play vr chat and you have like full body trackers you know for for your every you know knees and and like for the feet and for the elbows and you have one for the hip and whatnot and then the game kind of knows better where every part of your body is and how to show it to others and how to show it to yourself how you're actually moving in real life translated to how you move inside the game but for example right now the way i play i don't have any trackers and rec room as far as now i think it's going to change soon but um doesn't support trackers either right so the only thing we have at least is the headset and the controllers everything else is being run through an algorithm that kind of estimates where you're supposed to be so if i lower myself it will bend my knees right if i extend my arms it will put my elbows kind of where it thinks they're supposed to be right that's what we call full body estimation it's an algorithm that kind of calculates where the parts that the game doesn't know where they are would be right so if i had this in my shoulder let's say i put it kind of like a bit in the back and i were to point my hand over here this way right it would be like doing like this you know but for other positions especially like let's say you stretch strength stretch your arm the most you can bend my hand the elbow doesn't move right but if i do like this bend my hand you see how my elbow moves you see how it's going like different places that's because when it's closer so if we bring the arm closer to what would be the body right imagine the chest of these fake bodies over here right so if this is the hand and i put it this way right now it creates this little vector over here it's gonna suggest that maybe this is way too bent so the shoulder the sorry not the shoulder the elbow should be down here somewhere it, it it doesn't look as good because you know i'm in 3d and, and you're just looking at this plain thing right but if i were to bend it to put my hand this way because my controller is doing like this so i know that my head is probably up here so my shoulder has to be static so my hand is over here it's going to estimate that the elbow goes back here right 
So this is what's happening when this is close to the body and we rotate our controllers. The game is estimating where these elbows are gonna be. And you know, they do weird, crazy things and the elasticity is kind of funny, but I wanted to exemplify a little bit with this quickly and show you guys why some of the things that you are seeing in my opinion are happening is because of the full body estimation and there's like super interesting ways to do that um there's a guy who just graduated high school actually that has a software on steam called standable which is a whole different algorithm that also does full body estimation for avatars on vr chat and now i think it also uses a mix of trackers plus full body estimation. So like, let's say, cause not everybody has trackers for, you know, everything. So maybe you only have a couple extra trackers. So this algorithm will do the parts that are occluded. That's kind of how they call it. The parts that the system cannot see. It will try to apply its logic and figure out where it should be. This is super interesting thing. Uh, MetaQuest does it for some things. Theirs is also kind of really good lately. It became better, I don't know, some updates ago. The Archot ones is actually kind of terrible. Uh, one thing that I can compare from this to that is when you go prone and then you start crawling. But then, for example, you can just, you know, put your hands up and then kind of like just your knees and your feet are touching the ground, but you're like doing like a crazy, you know, push up with no arms. Like as if you were Rocky Balboa or something. Like, I mean, you have to be like super strong to do something like that, right? So full body estimation there would like try to uh, understand that that's not possible, right? And maybe it would put you like belly on the ground because that's kind of what would happen if you did something like that. So it's not only for things like the elbows, but for, you know, for the height of how your avatar is, how you're moving to the side, how often the legs move and all those things. So anyway, I hope you guys like this new kind of video that I wanted to make. I know it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mess, but I have fun doing this and I have fun talking to you guys about these things that capture my interest, right? Because remember the first thing that we have to be in life is curious because that's how we learn a lot and talking to really interesting people, meet more interesting people. And, you know, it's all about learning and sharing what we know with, with others and learning from them as well. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, check out my Ko-Fi. It's, uh, it's over here on the side. Please subscribe if you haven't. You help me out a lot. If you subscribe, if you leave a comment, if you share it with your chooms, put it on Discord, share it through WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger. I don't know, man. Send it to your mom. Maybe she'll like it. Who knows? Anyway, thank you guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Robbie out. Ciao.